From the explosive end of massive stars in distant galaxies to the intricate dances of celestial bodies at the very heart of our own Milky Way, we're peeling back the mysteries of the universe one layer at a time. Don't miss this visually stunning and enlightening voyage that uncovers secrets billions of light years away, all brought to life by cutting edge telescopes that offer views more breathtaking than you can imagine. Curious? Tune in and let's unravel the hidden stories written in the stars. Image number one, a close-up journey through the Andromeda galaxy, our cosmic next door neighbor. Imagine looking through a window into another world, so far away yet seemingly within reach. What you're seeing is the Andromeda galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor. This celestial body is also known by other names, M31 or Messier 31. So what makes it so special? Captured by the Webb telescope, a modern marvel in space observation, the Andromeda galaxy emerges on the cosmic stage as if posing for a detailed portrait. The image boasts breathtaking dimensions. It's the largest image the Webb Telescope has ever released. This visual feast reveals more than 100 million stars and countless star clusters. These luminous formations are all neatly spread across a portion of the galaxy's disc-shaped layout, spanning an awe-striking 40,000 light years. What's a light year, you ask? Think of it as a unit of cosmic measurement. One light year equals the distance that light travels in a single year, which is about 5.88 trillion miles. So when we say Andromeda is about 2 million light years away, it's like saying you'd need to drive almost incomprehensibly far back and forth between Earth and the Sun a million times to reach it. The panorama you see of Andromeda takes up a staggering 1.5 billion pixels. To grasp the enormity of this, Imagine needing more than 600 high-definition television screens just to display the image in its entirety. This sweeping visual journey starts from the galactic core on the left, a region brimming with stars packed so closely they're almost jostling for space, and extends across intricate lanes of stars and cosmic dust toward the sparser regions at the far reaches of its outer disk on the right. Did you notice the striking blue areas and the contrasting darker shadows? The electric blue patches are not just any clusters of stars. They're hotbeds of new star births and exist within the galaxy's spiral arms. On the other hand, the mysterious dark areas that stand out are not empty. Rather, they are filled with complex dust structures. Below this dynamic cosmic ballet of lights and shadows is a foundational layer of red stars, which tell a tale of Andromeda's own history and transformation over the span of billions of years. This Andromeda portrait isn't just for show. It has scientific importance too. As a large spiral galaxy, Andromeda is somewhat of an archetype. Most of the universe's stars find their homes in spiral galaxies. By studying Andromeda in extreme detail, astronomers set a new standard for understanding galaxies of this type. The high-resolution observations from the Webb Telescope serve as a vital tool for interpreting the complexities of other, more distant galaxies that share Andromeda's spiral structure but are too far away for us to see clearly. Oh, and let's not forget, this spectacular galaxy resides in the constellation Andromeda. What's more fascinating is that, despite its mind-boggling distance, Andromeda is an enormous feature in our night sky. To put it in perspective, its full diameter is six times that of the full moon. Can you imagine something so far away taking up that much room in our sky? So the next time you look up at the night sky, consider this. Tucked within the far reaches of the Andromeda constellation is an entire galaxy waiting to be explored. Isn't the universe an endlessly captivating place? Image number two, the intricate dance of the Hickson Compact Group. 40. A Cosmic Oddity in the Constellation Hydra. Ever stared at a crowded dance floor and marveled at how each dancer seems to glide around without bumping into each other? Now magnify that complexity a thousandfold 
and imagine a similar choreography happening way out in the universe. Meet the Hickson Compact Group 40, an astonishingly close-knit gathering of five galaxies, each with its own distinct personality. You've got three spiral galaxies, an elliptical galaxy, and a lenticular galaxy, a term that simply means it resembles the shape of a lens. Picture these celestial dancers as they swirl closer, destined to eventually merge into a single entity. It's like a cosmic talent show featuring different types of galaxies, all performing on the same stage. You might be asking, how close are these galaxies to each other? Get this, all five could comfortably fit within a space less than double the diameter of our Milky Way's own disk of stars. That's what you call a tight fit. What makes their arrangement even more captivating is the location. While similar gatherings of galaxies often appear in the bustling heart of large galaxy clusters, the Hickson Compact Group 40 is an enigma. They're basically out in the boonies, tucked away in their own private corner of the universe, specifically in the direction of the constellation Hydra, wondering why they're clustering so closely. One idea is dark matter. That's a form of matter that's invisible and not fully understood yet. When these galaxies near each other, dark matter could form a kind of cosmic cloud around them. Moving through this cloud, the galaxies experience a sort of cosmic drag, a gravitational pull that slows them down and causes them to lose energy. As a result, they gradually fall closer together. This snapshot captures them at a fascinating point in this cosmic dance. A billion years from now, they'll collide and form one massive elliptical galaxy. Astronomers haven't left a stone unturned to understand this unique cosmic spectacle. They've scrutinized the group using all sorts of light glasses, from visible light to radio waves, from infrared to X-rays. Findings show that almost each galaxy has a compact radio source at its core, hinting at the likely presence of a supermassive black hole. In the X-ray spectrum, there's evidence of hot gas, suggesting these galaxies have been mingling gravitationally. Infrared observations throw light on the speed at which new stars are being born within these galaxies. Why does all this matter? Well, over the last few decades, more than 100 such compact galaxy groups have been catalogued. But Hickson Compact Group 40 is extra special. It's one of the most densely packed groups out there. Studies suggest that similar tight-knit gatherings might have been more prevalent in the universe's youth. These early groups possibly served as cosmic fuel stations for powering quasars, bright and energetic cores of galaxies where material is heated to extreme temperatures as it spirals into a black hole. Observing Hickson Compact Group 40 helps astronomers piece together the puzzle of how, when, and what galaxies are made of. So as you glance skyward at the constellation Hydra, ponder this. In one isolated corner, five galaxies are waltzing ever closer in a dance choreographed by the universe itself. Isn't it intriguing to consider what else might be happening out there, beyond our view? Image 3, the chiseled art of the cosmos, dust pillars in the Carina Nebula. You know how a sandcastle on the beach can be eroded by waves, each one sculpting it a little more? Well, imagine an artist with cosmic powers chipping away at towering blocks of molecular clouds in outer space to create statues. Statues not of stone, but of cold hydrogen and dust. We're talking about the Carina Nebula, a celestial canvas located 7,500 light-years away in the constellation Carina. This extraordinary region of space is akin to an art gallery displaying sculptures shaped not by human hands, but by the unyielding forces of stellar winds and intense radiation. Here's a question. What could possibly shape these celestial structures that stand as tall as an entire light-year? The answer is the intense radiation from massive, fiery stars nearby. Picture the scenario. A radiant star unleashes winds and energy so intense they carve through clouds much like a potter shapes clay. These forces meticulously sculpt the pillars within the nebula, 
a nebula that falls under two categories, an H2 region, meaning it primarily consists of molecular hydrogen, and a dark nebula, where starlight gets absorbed rather than reflected. Within these towering pillars, secreted away in their dense and compact regions, something magical happens. Stars could be taking their first cosmic breaths. That's right, new stars may actually be forming within these craggy skyscrapers of gas and dust. It's as though each pillar is a celestial maternity ward, where cosmic life starts its journey. But how do we get to peek at these mysterious pillars? Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's eyes are now powerful enough to witness these astounding structures. Imagine the telescope as a cosmic photographer, snapping ultra-clear shots of these pillars that stretch one light year in height. Each photo, each pixel, can serve as a clue to unlock the mysteries of star formation and the creative forces of the universe. So, if you ever look skyward toward the constellation Carina, Ponder for a moment on the immense cosmic artistry at play, sculpting structures so large they boggle the mind. And consider this. If such breathtaking formations exist 7,500 light years away, what other extraordinary cosmic phenomena might be awaiting discovery beyond what we can currently see? Image number four, NGC 4102, the unassuming spiral galaxy with a twist. We're often dazzled by the grandeur of spiral galaxies that unfurl their arms like twirling skirts or the breathtaking spectacle of colliding galaxies that tear gas and stars away from each other. But what about the unsung heroes of the cosmic stage? Imagine the quiet charm of a neighborhood bakery compared to a glitzy gourmet restaurant. That's NGC 4102 for you. Nestled in the constellation of Ursa Major, also known as the Great Bear, this spiral galaxy may not catch your eye at first, but it has a secret worth knowing. You see, NGC 4102 doesn't display the flashy brilliance often associated with its spiral cousins. Instead, it offers tightly wound spiral arms that have a humble appeal, like a modest flower amid showy blossoms. Yet, its core holds an enigma that challenges our understanding, something known as a liner, or low ionization nuclear emission line region. What's that, you ask? Well, in simpler terms, it's a central area that emits a special kind of radiation. This is thanks to weakly charged or neutral atoms of specific elements, acting like microscopic light bulbs in its nucleus. And you'd be surprised to know that nearly a third of all nearby galaxies are liner galaxies like NGC 4102. However, liner galaxies often hide another mystery, furious regions of star formation where stars come to life at a much more rapid pace compared to regular galaxies. Intriguing, isn't it? Why is this so? That's one of the big puzzles astronomers are trying to solve. Do these newborn stars add fuel to the mysterious liner at the galaxy's core, or does the activity at the core set off this frenetic starbirth? Imagine a chicken or egg scenario, but on a cosmic scale. In the case of NGC 4102, its central starburst region, where stars are being born at a frenzied pace, is a tiny rotating disk measuring about 1,000 light years across, yet holding a mass about 3 billion times that of our Sun. Astronomer Stephen Smart, hailing from Queen's University Belfast, leads a dedicated team who have been combing through galaxy images for 15 years. Their quest? To find the original stars that go supernova. And images of galaxies like NGC 4102 serve as a rich playground for this kind of detective work. So next time you gaze toward Ursa Major, consider the quiet enigma of NGC 4102, a galaxy that reminds us there's more to beauty and intrigue than first meets the eye. Could its tightly wound arms and puzzling core hold answers to questions we haven't even thought to ask yet? Ah, the allure of the underdog.
Image 5. A.G. Carini, the star that's losing itself to space. Imagine a stage where the spotlight suddenly tightens on a lone performer. That's A.G. Carini for you, a star so intensely bright that it nearly steals the show from every other celestial object around it. Located in the constellation Carina, 20,000 light years away from Earth, this stellar virtuoso is one of the Milky Way's intriguing talents. A.G. Carini, also known by its less glamorous name HD 94910, is not just any star. It's a luminous blue variable, LBV, a category of super bright, massive stars on the brink of becoming even more astonishing as Wolf Rayet stars. What's so special about Wolf Rayet stars? Well, they can shine up to several million times brighter than our sun. Imagine turning up the brightness on your phone screen, but multiply that effect by millions. These LBVs have evolved from what are called main sequence stars, which initially had about 20 times the mass of our sun. But here's the kicker. AG Carina is shedding its mass at an alarming rate, like a rocket jettisoning fuel, but on a cosmic scale. This isn't just a trickle, we're talking about stellar winds that clock speeds of up to 7 million km plosh hour. Just think about it. How powerful must a wind be to achieve that incredible speed? This is what shapes the shroud of material you can see in the image, forming an ethereal halo around the star. These super-fast winds collide with the expelled materials, pushing them outward and sculpting them into the unique forms you see. If A.G. Carina is so bright, why can't we see it with the naked eye from Earth? Here's the thing. A majority of its radiant output is in the ultraviolet range, which our eyes simply can't perceive. Imagine having a super bright light that's invisible. Fascinating, right? As we marvel at the intricacies of A.G. Carini, we're compelled to ask, what triggers such an intense loss of mass in a star? What will this star look like when it finally morphs into a Wolf Rayet star? The answers to these questions could unlock yet more secrets of our galaxy. And it's stars like A.G. Carini that keep astronomers, both amateur and professional, gazing in wonder at the cosmos. Would you ever think that a star could be so dynamic, so capricious, and yet so hidden? Ah, uh, the mysteries of the Milky Way continue to captivate us. Image number six, the cosmic mirror, why we're seeing double in the skies. Imagine seeing a face in the mirror and then realizing it's not your reflection, but your twin. Something similar is happening in the universe, where we are seeing not one, but two identical glimmers of light. Are they cosmic twins separated at birth? Not quite. Welcome to the enigmatic world of the twin quasar, formerly known as QSO 0957 plus 561, Situated an almost inconceivable 14 billion light years away from Earth in the constellation of Ursa Major. Back in 1979, astronomers scratched their heads when they discovered these two bright objects that looked suspiciously alike. Initial guesses were that they were separate celestial bodies, but they soon found that these objects were located the same distance from Earth and had shockingly similar properties. The big reveal? These weren't two separate entities, they were two images of the same quasar. But how could this happen? The answer lies in a galactic heavyweight named Yijikao G1, located around 4 billion light years away from us and directly in our sightline to the quasar. This massive galaxy was the first ever to be identified as a gravitational lens, an awe striking title indeed. So, what is a gravitational lens? It's an object with so much mass that it can actually bend light like a lens. It serves as a cosmic magnifying glass, allowing us to see things far, far away that would otherwise be invisible to us. In this particular instance, Wide Cow G1 is bending light in such a way that we see the quasar twice. The force exerted by Widgey Cow G1 is so strong that it doesn't just manipulate its own shape or the stars around it. It even warps the space it resides in. This warping creates peculiar effects, such as this double vision of the quasar. This brings us to a fascinating question. 
What other bizarre phenomena might exist that we haven't seen yet? When astronomers first observed this quasar double image, they didn't just stumble upon a fascinating optical illusion. They found critical evidence for Einstein's theory of general relativity. This groundbreaking theory had mentioned the idea of gravitational lensing as early as 1936, but no one had observed this phenomenon until Yiji Kao G1 came into the picture. So, could the universe be filled with more cosmic mirrors? Could there be other objects out there waiting to be revealed by the unique power of gravitational lensing? What we know is that this observation has proven a powerful scientific theory and opened our eyes to the universe's ability to surprise us. The twin quasar is an engaging cosmic riddle, daring us to look beyond what we see and explore the underlying forces that paint such intriguing cosmic portraits. Number 7. Journey into the Cosmic Cetacean. The story of NGC. 4631. The Whale Galaxy. Picture yourself embarking on an interstellar voyage, light years from Earth, to explore one of the most captivating sights the cosmos has to offer. NGC 4631, fondly named the Whale Galaxy. This mesmerizing celestial body resides a staggering 30 million light years away. Even though some records say 19 million, it's still an incredible distance. In the constellation Canes Venatici, or the Hunting Dogs, what makes this galaxy so fascinating? For starters, it bears a remarkable resemblance to our very own Milky Way, but with an exotic twist. When we gaze at it from Earth, we see the whale galaxy sideways, or edge-on as astronomers call it. The spectacle is akin to looking at a grand stage through the curtains, with only the glowing core and swirling, dusty arms visible. This unique perspective is why some past observers thought the galaxy resembled the shape of a whale, or even a herring swimming through the cosmic ocean. Peering through the dust lanes that stripe across its face, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered something incredible at the galaxy's heart. Amidst these dark, curtain-like bands, a dazzling display of star formation lights up the galactic core. If you ever wondered where stars come from, this is your answer. They are born in such celestial nurseries where cosmic ingredients mix together in just the right way to create new stars. The drama doesn't end there. The Whale Galaxy is home to frequent supernovae, which are explosive deaths of short-lived hefty stars that are at least eight times the mass of our Sun. These stellar fireworks not only illuminate the galaxy, but fill it with hot gas that can be detected by X-ray telescopes like ESA's XMMM Newton. By comparing these X-ray data with the optical and infrared observations from Webb, astronomers can piece together a more complete picture of what's actually happening in this stellar metropolis. So why does the Whale Galaxy experience such high rates of star formation and supernovae? Think about it in terms of a blue whale, the Earth's largest creature, which feeds on tiny plankton. Similarly, the whale galaxy has a voracious appetite for intergalactic material. It feeds on it gravitationally, absorbing gas and dust from its surroundings. This feast, coupled with its gravitational interactions with neighboring galaxies, leads to areas where material clumps together, providing just the right conditions for stars to start forming. It leaves us pondering, doesn't it? What other secrets does this enigmatic galaxy hold? Could its unique perspective reveal more about the birth and death cycles of stars, perhaps even offering insights into our own Milky Way? The Whale Galaxy, like a celestial leviathan swimming through the cosmic seas, continues to captivate and challenge our understanding of the universe.
Image number 8. The Cosmic Fireworks in IC755. A window into supernova SN 1999 and imagine pointing the most advanced telescope ever made, the James Webb Space Telescope, towards a distant smudge in the night sky. As the cosmic dust clears, what you see isn't just a cloud of stars, but an entire spiral galaxy turned on its side, stretching like a cosmic ribbon across the universe. This is IC755, a spiral galaxy so far away that its light takes 70 million years to reach us, hidden within the constellation of Coma Berenices. Now let's rewind the cosmic clock to the year 1999. Observers at the Beijing Astronomical Observatory were the first to notice something extraordinary. One of the stars in this sideways galaxy suddenly became incredibly bright. They had just witnessed a supernova explosion and christened it SN 1999. But here's the challenge. The galaxy's edge-on position made it difficult to study. Imagine trying to spot a single firework in a night sky full of them but also having trees and buildings blocking your view. That's how astronomers felt when they attempted to understand this supernova amidst a backdrop of millions of other stars and cosmic material. Three years after the explosion, the Hubble Space Telescope took its turn to investigate. Despite the difficulties posed by the galaxy's alignment and other intervening cosmic clutter, Hubble collected crucial data. The findings? The star that went kaboom was no ordinary star. It likely had about 20 times the mass of our Sun and was around 14 million years old when it exploded. So why should we care about supernovae like SN1999? These are classified as Type II supernovae and they serve as cosmic alchemists. In the explosion, many elements are created and then hurled into space with incredible force. These elements might become part of future stars, planets, and maybe even life elsewhere in the universe. Ever wonder where elements like gold or carbon come from? Well, they're cooked up in the heat and pressure of events like these. Furthermore, the powerful shockwaves from the explosion don't just fade away. They churn up the gas and dust within their home galaxy. I see 755 in this case. This cosmic stirring might even ignite a new cycle of star birth, contributing to the ongoing story of galaxy evolution. So, in a way, each supernova explosion is like a dramatic chapter in the autobiography of its galaxy. Now ponder this. If one supernova can have such a transformative impact, what could billions of them do? IC755 is made up of a staggering number of stars, many of which are destined to end their lives in such spectacular fashion. These future supernovae will carry on the legacy of SN 1999N, each adding its own splash of brilliance and complexity to the ever-unfolding narrative of the cosmos. How many more cosmic secrets are hidden in this edge-on galaxy waiting for us to discover? The journey of uncovering the universe's mysteries is far from over, and galaxies like IC755 continue to be vibrant participants in this cosmic saga. Image number 9. A glimpse into the beating heart of the Milky Way. Ever wondered what lies at the very core of our Milky Way galaxy? Thanks to the Webb Space Telescope, along with its partners in cosmic exploration, the Spitzer Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory, we now have an unprecedented sharp-as-attack view into this bustling neighborhood of the universe. And oh boy, it's far from quiet in there. Situated 25,000 light-years away in the constellation Sagittarius, the panorama we now see offers a timeline of a star's life, almost like a family photo album, but for celestial bodies. We get to witness the entire circle of stellar life, from regions where stars are just being born, like babies taking their first breath, to the midlife hot stars that are the equivalent of adults in their prime, and all the way to elderly stars that are keeping cool in their golden years.
But what happens when stars expire? They transform into the dramatic yet mysterious objects we know as black holes. Let's not forget the enormous character at the center of it all. A supermassive black hole that has a mass nearly 4 million times that of our sun. Imagine something so colossal that it practically rules the neighborhood. It's like the king of the cosmic jungle, exerting its influence in every corner of this bustling center. What does that influence look like? Well, the entire core region is suffused with a diffuse, blue-tinged mist of X-ray light. Picture a foggy night, but this fog is composed of gas heated to millions of degrees. This super-hot gas is not just a product of the black hole's activities. It's also stirred up by the winds of gigantic stars and the dramatic last breaths, known as stellar explosions, of other stars. Infrared light in this detailed snapshot reveals an awe-inspiring complexity. Over a hundred thousand stars are etched against this cosmic tapestry, along with dust clouds that shape themselves into intricate forms. These formations range from compact bundles, which could be the nurseries of future stars, to elongated threads and even structures that look like fingers pointing to the sky, dubbed the pillars of creation, where new stars are just beginning to emerge from their dusty covers. So as you marvel at this sweeping view of our galaxy's heart, consider this. What might we learn from this ceaseless activity, both in terms of our understanding of the universe and our place in it? Each component, from the newly birthed stars to the dominant supermassive black hole, tells a story of cosmic evolution. And now, thanks to our advanced eyes in the sky, we're one step closer to reading this incredible story in full. And there you have it, a cosmic odyssey that took us from the birthing grounds of stars to the fascinating phenomena that shape galaxies. So, which breathtaking image captivated you the most? We'd love to hear from you. Drop your favorite snapshot in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Ready for another space adventure? Then click on the video appearing on your screen now and let's keep exploring the endless wonders of our incredible universe.